Alright everybody, so I hope you guys catch this live. I'm just gonna make it short. It's late at night and then um I got these two ba uh Bauer Bankies um earlier today. I got a red one and a green one. And so what I'm gonna do is just add some more water, but they've been acclimating all day. But I turn it all saying because the dogs are, are howling. I'm gonna add some iodine in here. And also, uh, earlier today, I scraped out the these little tubes that might have been uh, vermitted snails on the red one, but on the on the green one, the green one looked pretty solid. Drunken Chef, what's up, bro? Thank you for joining. Um, I wasn't expecting anybody to come on, but yeah, I know it's pretty late. Um, but I gotta introduce these corals to uh, my tank real quick, and then um, yeah. But thank you for joining, Drunken Chef. I know it's late. <laughs> I was just gonna do a quick live. I'm introducing my new corals into the system. Um, it's cause uh, they passed the law. And basically, a lot of the corals we have right now, they're going to be hard to get. And these are some of my favorite ones. And so I, I bought these coral today. But um, thank you for joining. Yeah, it really means a lot. <clears throat> and like I was saying, um, I scraped the, the coral, the skeleton of it, with the, with the scalpel. So I don't want to introduce any of the outside shit. But I'll show you right now what I mean, especially on the green one. All right. So I'm going to take you to the green one real quick. Oh, man, it's hard to tell on the green. I mean, his tentacles are out. Just tapping real quick. Got to get back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all right, bro. Um... <laughs> Um, go to sleep. <laughs> I know I, I was just busting out a, a late night, but thank you so much for joining. But, um, tomorrow, you, you, um, I'm gonna make another live, um, showing these corals inside of the actual tank, but on the other one, they had, like, these, uh, let me get this real quick, a pointer. See these little skeletons, uh, tubes? Um, they could be vermitted snails, but I, I, I checked these carefully and it actually has, um, little fans on the end of it so i know they're pretty safe to have um i'm on certain on certain certain organisms that are on there i was gonna scrape the whole thing but um i think i'm just gonna let the snails clean it up and then eventually i'm just gonna take out what i don't want and then they gave me kind of these snails also for buying these they sold me two for three bucks but then they gave me the rest so i was like i'll take them Let me see if it looked better without the lights on. Yeah, maybe. Alright, alright, there you go. Alright, so I added some uh, iodine into the into the bag to disinfect the coral. And then I'm gonna add some to the green one. And then the snails, I'm not gonna release them out today um, during this live, alright? And same with the green. Oh snap, I forgot to close it up. All right, so I'm gonna add some iodine to the green. Just a few drops. Mm -hmm. Throw some more water in there. I 
I just needed to hold for now because I need to clear out some corals in the bottom. And then I'm adding a little bit more water to the snail. Alright, there you go. So now I'm just going to move some corals around real quick. Um, Now I'm just going to add a super concentrated dose of iodine into the red. Probably going to release the red one first. Now you guys can see how they look like, honestly. Just a little bit more iodine. I have one more thing. I'm gonna clip the bottom of this thing. Just like that. I'll do the green ones. <clears throat> uh, my lights is gonna turn off in two minutes, but uh, I'll turn it back on with the with the what the hell you call it with the Alexa.
and then again to clip the bottom just like that Computer, uh, turn on the loose. Damn it. Now I gotta redo the coral. Fuck. Or. Damn, that sucks. Yep, I'm gonna have to reglue the coral real quick. Damn, that sucks. Uh, oh shit, <laughs> 1916 and Brenda, thank you guys for joining. Um, I got some new corals today and I, I gotta put them in the tank real quick. Hold on, guys. I'll show you guys what I got right now. All right, <laughs> thank you guys for joining. All right, let's see, let's start. What the fuck? Go to sleep, fool. <laughs> yeah, man, I've been I've been trying to go to sleep, but like I said, I just wanted to throw in these new coral. I'll show you up close right now. Brenda, hi, nice to meet you guys again. Night owl, <laughs> hi Mo. Brenda, that dude dead. Bird flu, fucking nineteen sixteen. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dude, I was watching the news and they were saying that the, they throw human ashes at reefs in the ocean or something like that. And they use aqua technology to save energy. It's like 
a green cremation yeah i mean people do weird shit these days but yeah people do throw a lot of ashes uh, of people in the ocean i'm not really sure i mean maybe the carbon will help filter shit out but i don't know mo where are you from i was calling henry and night owl i'm from la i know brenda i'm being a smart ass yeah don't use that current for electricity <laughs> All right, so let me show you the new coral I got today. I mean, they're not out right now because I just threw them in, but. This guy, I'm probably gonna face it this way though so we could see it. Bam, they inflate a little bit like a balloon. Also, I, there was a towel here, and I just straight up cut it today. Man, so these are my new corals today. Um, these are called Bauer Bankies. Uh, hold on, I'll type, in, I'll, I'll type it in in my other account. Hold on. Is the 1916 SP? I have no clue what that means. Uh, anyways, but yeah, so these coral are, ca are called uh, Bauer Bankies, and you don't really see them too much in the in YouTube or anything. Uh, it's kind of weird, but you don't really see them in YouTube. But these are one of my favorite corals, actually. Um, the tentacles actually come out pretty big. I mean, you can see a little bit of their tentacles, but you actually have to feed these coral, or it's more recommended to start feeding them. But like I said, you don't really see these in YouTube, especially the green or red. Um, if you type in Bauer Banky corals uh, in YouTube, you won't really find any. And since they passed that law where, hold on. So they passed the law, so we're not going to be able to move corals or fish um, between state lines. I thought I, I would get this before the law takes effect because the prices of these coral, I'm expecting them to start um, getting pretty expensive. So I just bought one right now. Well, I bought two today. And then I want to show you something on the skeleton. All right, so if you look at the skeleton right here, they kind of look like uh, vermitted snails. Uh, and usually vermitted snails, um, they'll kill all your shit, like, um, they release like a, I don't know how to describe it, like a little web net made out of mucus, and it'll start killing coral, but I look, I look very closely at these guys, and they're actually little fan worms, or, uh, what do you call them, um, they're kind of like feather dusters. Well, let me get close up of this one. Yeah, I'm gonna give them a little bit of time, but you'll see these little tubes come out with like little feathers on them. I was gonna take them off because I thought they were vermitted snails, but then I thought I'll just keep them on there. But you see the tentacles are already coming out. See, these are feeding tentacles right in the center. Hold up, hold up. See the feeding tentacles? Just give it a little bit of time, and then you can start seeing them come out. Oh, like this guy. The red one's already starting to come out. And like I said, they, they, they deflated a little bit because I, they were out in the air right now as I was taking them out of the bag. Oh, shit. And like I said, these guys have a powerful sting, so you don't want to have them close to your other corals because... <laughs> this guy, it got detached, so I had to glue him in right now. And he was on, on top over here. Remember you guys last time? He was up here. 
but ever since I brought brought him down yesterday, um, I think he's a lot more happier down in the bottom. But you see all the mucus they're producing? Yeah. But these corals are, like I said, you don't really see them in the hobby, so, or people on YouTube, they don't really talk about them, or there's not that many of them. I have no clue, but this red and the green ones are pretty solid. Uh, the, the, the colors are cool. Thank you, Brenda. San Pedro. Nah, it's just a number from a song, Motorhead, 1916. It just stuck since forever. Where did he buy them? You went to you went in the store online? No, Brenda, I bought these at um at actual pet store. Um, I could give you the pet store. They they they'll sell them to you online and they'll ship them to you. But like I said, I would get them before uh they that law takes effect, and then you're not gonna be able to get them. Like even if when, once they run out at the store, um, they had quite a few. Um, they only had a few more green ones though. But um, after they run out of uh, these coral, they're probably not going to be able to ship them in. And not every pet store carries these, or every fish store. They don't really carry these, okay? They're, they're kind of rare. I, I don't know if they're rare or just people don't buy them, or you don't really see them. But um, I just bought that shit. I couldn't wait. Uh, I'm in... Kuda, hey, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. If that is what you're asking, M no, cool. More government reach, yeah, man. The government, man, they're passing stupid laws um, affecting the aquariums. Like pretty soon, you can't, you're not gonna be able to ship a clownfish to one state to another. And that's what they're doing. It doesn't really affect my business, though, because I don't ship live animals or anything. It's just salt. How often do you feed the fish? Uh, Brenda, I, I try to feed the fish every day. Uh, but you could go up to, like, four or five days without feeding your fish. That coral is healing, huh? Um, no, these corals are not... Well, this one... Well, they're all kind of healing, I guess. Like these ones, I just barely threw them in. Um, give up, watch tomorrow or so. You're gonna see these pretty much inflated. Like you're gonna see this red one, like this green one, and this green one inflated even more. Da da da. But yeah, ni um, 1916. They're definitely uh, getting used to the water. Do the corals have been taken care of the same way, or is it species different? Oh, do all my corals have to be taken care of the same way? Uh, no, they're, they're all slightly different, Brenda. Like, for example, uh, like these coral right here, they prefer like a faster water flow. These guys, medium flow. Um, these, All these ones are medium flow corals. Medium to low. And then like this guy right here, these two guys, they're like low light corals. This guy's a high light coral. They need a lot of light. These ones are like intermediate light. Um, I think these could go anywhere, but um, they prefer more like a medium to low light. But this guy on top is definitely a fast light, I mean a fast current. You see the water blasting it and high light, that's why it's right up right up there. And you have to acclimate them, meaning uh, you got to get them adjust to your, to your light. This guy, um, they could go with the higher light because I just straight up threw them right on top at the beginning. Um, he wasn't really coming out, but you had to adjust them to your light level. So you had, you want to start them at the low, down low, maybe somewhere in the corner. And then eventually start bringing them up to your rock or whatever. I just have them here because I have nowhere to put them. And I, I see him more happier down here than up there. But for sure. Uh, why do you think that is? It doesn't make any sense. 1916, uh, nobody has a clue why the government um, passed those laws. 
or they're in the process of doing it, but I think they already passed it, and then the law is going to take effect pretty soon. I'm not sure if by the end of this year or or even before that, but definitely, um, it's definitely it's definitely going to affect the hobby, and the prices of all these corals are going to go up, and then you're not going to be able to get them unless it's from somebody else. So I bought these before I can't get them anymore, and they multiply. It, they kind of grow like little brains. They'll form like another one right here, another one right there. So um, if these survive and everything, and you guys got a tank, I'll, I'll, I'll cut them up. You can see someone cut this one up. You can see the skeleton with the straight. See the skeleton? It's kind of straight. It's because they cut it. They cut every individual one. But yeah, I'll, I'll give you guys some of these coral for sure. Do you get red corals in Mexico and bring them here? <laughs> uh, I would actually get some of those corals for sure, Brenda. Um, only I can't. I haven't smuggled in no corals from Mexico, but I want to get a lot of Mexican corals and then corals from like the, the Gulf of Mexico and stuff. Um, they're protected and shit. So if you could get some, I would definitely get some. Uh, what do you feed the fish? Uh, I feed them, uh, frozen food, like frozen brine shrimp, uh, mice shrimp, or right now they also feed a lot of flake foods. I'm trying to get them some pellets. I'm going to try getting them some pellets. That's the thing with clownfish, uh, they'll eat, they'll eat, uh, dry foods. Unlike other saltwater fish, sometimes they don't want to eat no dry food and they want either live or frozen uh, food or something like that. HCB, no Roger, no Roger Rampage. Oh, it's right there, bro. Oh, yeah, no more Roger uh, Roger Rampages, bro. You're not going to be able to, like, unless you get them from a, from a pet store that has a, a mother colony and they'll frag it up for you, but... Pretty soon you're not going to be able to get none of these corals. Maybe this this guy because he's more common. But you're not going to be able to get a lot of these corals anymore. There you go. Like I said, it's going to be hard to get any corals pretty soon. So I would start up a tank and then, like I said, I'll start putting in corals in there because you're not going to be able to get them. Are you going to get more rock? Uh, Brenda, I got a shitload of rock <laughs> that's that's dried up, but I don't think I'm gonna add no more rocks in here. But rocks, I got I got a whole bunch of rock. Like you don't know, I could fill up like maybe a either a five hundred or a thousand gallon system of rock. I got I got so much rock from other aquariums that I took down in the past. And this rock, like I said, it's fossilized coral, but if if you break down your tank, you could just leave it outside to dry out, and then ten years later, if you still got your rock, you could just use it up again. And then Peco, if you go to Peco, these rocks are really expensive. Fuck, I wouldn't buy them at Peco, but they're pretty expensive there. Hey, money. That's why Peco Monopoly probably. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I feel like the only ones that benefit right now are the big businesses. Like small businesses, like small coral farms and stuff, they're they're gonna be the most affected because now they let's say you have a little coral farm and basically you can't ship your corals to other states, so you can't make money off of other states anymore by shipping your your livestock. So so let's say I, I got somebody um, like in uh, New Jersey or something. I can't ship any of these corals over there. You get what I'm saying? I could only keep it in California or something like that. It's fucking crazy. So all these coral farms, like all these other businesses that you see on YouTube, um, I don't even know. I think they might go out of business, honestly. Unless they have like a local, like a local market. Um, what's it called? Like people that know them locally that actually go there. I get them confused which is which. I meant the the Roger Rampage Space Invader is healing, huh? Oh yeah, <laughs> my bad, bro.
But uh, yeah, this guy's definitely healing. And like I said, I'm a. I'm gonna take out that algae tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm, I'm gonna do an update. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the. It's this dental tool, and it has a little brush, and I'm gonna brush off that algae. But they're doing really good, both of them. So this is the space the space invaders the left. Roger Rampage on the right. The they're called chalices. These two are chalices. But I I like them. And and also when your corals are healing, this this stuff really works. It's like iodine. It's called reef dip. And it's basically iodine. You could use it also for humans if you get cut up. You kind of use this like alcohol. Just put it on your on small wounds and stuff. I saw they were selling rocks for 190. I thought it was a typo. Shit pricey. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking pricey as fuck. It's like um if you buy the cement rocks that are man-made, they're a little bit cheaper. They're like 3 to 5 dollars a pound. But if you buy the real live stuff from the ocean, that's just like 20 to 15, maybe even $25 a pound. Depending on where they got it from. And it's even more expensive if they got it from like Hawaii or a place that's protective now. Maybe like Fiji. I, I got all those rocks. I got the Hawaiian, Fiji, uh, Tonga. Tonga's another place that's that's been protected for like the past 10 years. If you get Tonga rock, I can show you Tonga rock next time. Um, that shit's even more pricier. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like $50 a pound. Hey, I saw there was some, okay. I think the fish are mad at each other right now. This is the first time I've seen them separate. <laughs> yeah, they've been acting weird. But I think they're hungry, but like I said, I think they want to breed or something. The female's starting to become more aggressive. That, and I moved the rocks a little bit. Um, I shifted this whole top one this way. And then I kind of moved it, the anemone where it's standing at a little bit more this way too, but um, you can't really tell. HCBA, I get it. I'm saying I bet the large corporations can still transport like Petco. Oh yeah, dude. The I'm pretty sure that's what's what's happening, bro, cuz you know in the fine and a small print that the lawmakers put, bro. I'm pretty sure they make it so they they're the only ones that benefit, you know what I mean? Cuz that's what I'm thinking cuz Petco still Petco sells live corals also on certain stores. And like I said, they're going to be the ones that are ma mainly going to benefit from everything. Because they're, I think what they're trying to do, kind of like, um, Mo, I'm pretty sure you can relate. You know, like small weed growers and stuff back in the day, like around 2009, when shit was legal. You, like small time growers were able to make money and all that shit. But then when they started passing taxes and all these laws... They took out all the small growers and shit, so now it's only the big, the big corporations or people with a lot of money that could um, grow weed. Like you got, you got to be someone like Be Real, or Mike Tyson and shit with that kind of money to start growing and shit. And it's the same thing with this hobby. They're getting rid of all the small players and they just wanted all the big boys there to make money. Why don't you put a backdrop or whatever on the plastic photo, ocean drawing thing? Magic in the tank. Yeah, I should probably put something in the background, but... Um, I don't know. I was thinking of growing the coralline algae. Um, it's like this purple shit that grows on here. Like, if you, if you notice, my rocks are purple, and I, they're normally white. I was thinking of getting that purple stuff growing on the back, but I, I, end, I ended up not deciding to go that way. But I might put something in the back. I'm not sure. Have you seen these white little lice-like things all over the tank? Brenda, are you talking about um, copepods or...
uh, Brenda, it depends what you're talking about. Cause if if they're pods, um, they're like little bugs, and they're actually good for the tank. But if it's some, if it looks like lice, sometimes it could be like a coral pest and or a fish pest or something. But if you're talking about cop like pods, like copepods pods and stuff, ampi pods, tigger pods, and all that shit, um, they're actually good for the tank. But it depends what you're talking about. Uh, yep. Yeah. They have to ship across states. Yep, that's why they are doing now. b has said it's even hurting him. Marlboro and then we'll take over the herb game watch. Yeah, see, like, like the, exactly, Mo. You, you get you get what I'm saying. Like, the Marlboro guys, um, and what what else, the Newports and all that shit, they're going to they're gonna buy all the, everything that involves smoking and shit. And then you're gonna have the the tobacco. What's it called tobacco? Ah, oh God, alcohol and tobacco. The a, a, ATL, ACL, some shit like that. The alcohol and tobacco bureau or some shit like that. Um, they're gonna start enforcing all that shit on on everybody. So I'm pretty sure there's gonna be something similar that's gonna happen with the saltwater fish. ATF. There you go. The richer get richer. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening. And like I said, this hobby, like around 2009, 2005, 2006, it wasn't that big compared to where it is now. And the reason is because back then, people couldn't really keep anything alive. And now that we kind of figured out how to keep shit alive, um, that they're, the big businesses or investors are trying to knock everybody out. Can snails hatch on their own, like baby tiny ones? Are they good or bad? Um, in the saltwater hobby, Brenda, it's a good thing. In the freshwater, it fucking sucks because the snails take over. But in saltwater, if you're able to hatch your snails, people will buy them off of you. And it's actually a good thing. In saltwater, it's a good thing. Like the snails, I, oh, I, I, I didn't show you the snails, but I got these snails that they gave me. Those ones reproduce in... In salt water sometimes in captivity and I'm hoping they actually breed that'll be pretty cool but like I said normally um but even then normally saltwater snails don't really reproduce in in our in our tanks or whatever alcohol Tabasco and firearms <laughs> Tabasco got sauce Brenda <laughs> Yeah, but like I said, Mo, um, set up your tank, man. Um, right now is the time, especially if you live in L.A., bro. I'll give you a secret. 70%, maybe even, no, more more like 80% of all the, like, all these corals that, that are in America, they pass through L.A. So you get the advantage of getting all your shit first because... Once they, cause if you, if you go to the LAX or the airport in LA, you see a lot of um, aquari aquarium wholesalers there. Like literally, um, they're literally across the street from the airport. That's because once they get the shipment, they they go on the planes and they unload them and then they throw them straight to their tanks. So LA has all these little um, fish wholesalers around there. Next time you go to the airport in LA. Look for all the wholesaler uh, fish fish, uh, fish guys and shit. There's a whole bunch of them. There's like Worldwide Corals, I think. Um, I know Sea Dwelling Creatures is a big one down there. But there's all these whole coral wholesalers that are that hold on to these corals. And then those guys ship them out to all the stores um, nationwide. So a coral in New York, uh, Connecticut, Kentucky, and all that shit. There's a good chance it passed through L.A. The next biggest one is uh, Florida, and then I think in Northern California, I think um, there's a little bit in San Francisco or Oakland, some shit like that. But most most of the corals and fish that pass through um, the aquarium hobby, they go through LA first. So you get you have the advantage of getting shit a lot sooner than everybody. 
Because when I had my tank, I saw a baby snail and I never bought it. I didn't know how the heck it got there. Oh, yeah, Brenda, um, for fresh water, yeah, there's always snails everywhere. There was a lot of snails in this tank right there. But I bought a little pea puffer so it could eat all the snails. Um, they definitely take over in fresh water and normally you don't want them. Unless it's like an apple snail. A lot of people like apple snails and they'll try to reproduce them. But like I said, it's pretty rare for freshwater people to want to reproduce snails like crazy. But like I said, in salt water, man, if you could breed your snails, you're doing something good. Regular cops don't know nothing about corals. It'll be a while, tiny, they enforce it. ATF making enemies everywhere. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, man, I wouldn't be surprised if the fishing game fucking helps them even more. Like, I used to work at a pet store. They were raided, like, five times in one week. <laughs> but you know they're chinos, man. The chinos fucking get a whole bunch of crazy shit you're not supposed to. And then someone snitches and then fucking... Oh, shit, wait, hold up. Let me show you something. Oh, yeah, well, anyway, somebody snitches, and then you get the fish and game coming at your store fucking trying to take all your shit. All right, so if you see that guy right there, you, you see these uh, feather-like things? Those are the things that were in the tubes. And like I said, you um, these little fan worms or... Um, there's different worms that look like that. There's cocoa worms, feather dusters, but these little worms with the fans are the ones you want to have. And people confuse them with the vermitted snails. And vermitted snails is what you don't want to have. Like I said, I was going to take them all out because I thought they were vermitted snails. But then when I look carefully, they weren't. The red one might have had one, but like I said, I I went with this with the with the scalpel and I took all that shit that was around the skeleton. What for real is what happened? Oh yeah, bro, they were fucking. Oh man, I didn't want to say. Well, they were selling shit they weren't supposed to have, and then well, one one time there was. One time the, the okay like uh, let me tell you the most legal one. Uh, there was a black tip reef shark that we had. And the fishing game wanted to come come and take that shit, but because of the ex post facto law. Meaning we had the shark before they made it illegal, so they couldn't take our shark legally now. But those fuckers try to really take that shark we had. It was a black tip reef shark. Cause right now you can't get no black tip reef sharks in the hobby. If you do, it's cause it's an illegal fish to have. And like I said, they were coming. They they really wanted to take that shark home. I don't even know what the fuck they were gonna do with it, cause they were they were they were trying to take it in a fucking cooler. And then this other pet store that actually had one also, they took theirs because they got it after the law passed. But like I said, um, if you work with like a, with Vietnamese or Chinese people, like if they own the, the pet store, the, the, they get some crazy shit, man, that you're not supposed to have. But that's all I'm going to say because like I said, like how Brenda says, you don't want, we don't want to be a 6'9 Takashi. <laughs> I ain't gonna bust that shit out, man. But like I said, that's the most legal one I could tell you. But like I said, uh, if you get like certain stingrays, um, sharks, uh, or let's say like uh, snakeheads, I'm pretty sure you guys would know what snakeheads are, those freshwater fish. Um, certain things you're not supposed to have, but people have. And like I said, the, the fishing game will come visit you quite a lot. Uh, you got Takashi Six Nine snitching on the hobby. <laughs> yeah, Brenda, but man, you'd be surprised how many customers I heard. Cause, like I said, we had legal, but crazy ass fucking fish. And then, um, and then you, you'll get people fucking calling the cops while they're in the store and shit, fucking ratting us out, even though it's a it's a perfect legal fish to have. But it's because a lot of pet stores. They carry the basic shit, but once they see exotic shit, they fucking think it's illegal. Oh, yeah, another thing that's illegal um, are the Asian arowanas. 
um, or arowanas in general. Um, not the silver ones, but the, the other really nice colored ones. They're illegal and you can't have them, but like I said, it's a common fish in the hobby if you know where to look. Uh, laugh aloud, pinches, chino selling endangered animals, huh? <laughs> That's exactly it, bro. They're selling a whole bunch of shit that it's like, goddamn. If it's illegal immigration, we'll get involved. <laughs> yeah, bro. Piranhas, sharks, just say it, fool. Yeah, piranhas. Um, no, not shark fins. Like, actual live animals. But like I said, um, you can't have black tip reef sharks or any... A lot of the sharks that swim are free, free swimming sharks. You can't really have them in the hobby. Piranhas? Yeah, man, like I said... You're not supposed to have piranhas, but fucking, you could get them pretty easy. Like Tony A, he had red belly piranhas, if if I'm not mistaken. Are eels fresh or salt? Brenda, most most salt water, like true eels, most of them are salt water. I know one true uh, freshwater eel, and they come from New Zealand. And then we also had these other freshwater eels. Um, I don't, I, I don't know where they were from, at the pet store, but you could find true freshwater eels in in New Zealand in those waters. They sell shark fin soup at the Chinese restaurants in Mexicali, and by Rosarito turtle soup called Caguma. Caguama. That's some crazy shit, Brenna. I've never tried shark fin soup or turtle soup. It's not something that that goes to my mind. Be like, oh, I want to eat that shit. But I believe you, though. And how often would people buy them? Was it common? Yeah, like I said, man. Um, it's kind of like when people always, always ask me, oh, could you get piranhas? And I'm always suspicious, man. If if they're if they're my age, around my age or younger, um, I might tell you. But if if you're older and shit, and you seem you seem fucking sketchy. I'm gonna think you're a cop or something. But all I say is that if you look hard enough, you'll find what you're asking, man. I also had this dude fucking tell me that he wanted a gray white shark. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you don't know what you're talking about. Especially because they don't live in captivity for that long. They'll just die. So I told him, you just save your money, man, and that shit's going to die. I wouldn't get that shit. I heard about the turtle soup. Heard they stopped, though. So they so they sell it low-key. It's Mexico after all. Yeah, 1916. Like I said, you'll, you'll, if you look hard enough, you'll find, you'll find it. You know what I mean? You'll find anything. But honestly, the biggest fucking people that do illegal shit is the government or or like zoos and shit. I think like getting gorillas or any of like the large apes, that should be illegal. Any mammals like dolphins and and killer whales, they shouldn't be in captivity. They should leave them in the wild. That's the only thing I don't like about SeaWorld. They should leave all the dolphins and fucking... Or, or Marine World. They should leave them... Like in the ocean. You know what I mean? I ate it when I was younger with chile and limon. But last month we went to a Chinese... And my stepdad ordered it. <laughs> was it good? Did he try it? Brenda, what did he try? The turtle or the... Or the shark fin? Yes, Mo, they even sell it illegal fireworks. Yeah. I remember when I went to Mexico once, we had fucking fireworks. That shit exploded right over us. And it looked like a big old fucking flag or something. Literally like 10 feet above us and we were getting burnt and shit. The shark fin. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I think I would probably try the shark fin over that turtle soup, man. Because it better be a tortoise, not a fucking... One, one, an aquatic turtle, because that shit looks nasty. Especially because they swim in nasty-ass water. 
Honestly, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, I, that doesn't sound that appetizing either way. Shark fin for the camote. <laughs> or what do you call it? Um, for the squash or the eggplant. <laughs> Yeah, that's some funny shit. I'd rather try turtle soup. Fuck. Like I said, is it a, is it a tortoise or is it actual aquatic turtle? Maybe if it was a sea turtle, but not not like a one from a, like a river or anything like that. That shit seems fucking nasty. But like I said, I I, I don't. It's not something like I would want to try. I I know in Mexico. They also try the iguanas and shit. My brother tried the iguanas and all that shit. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. That's what the chinos say is to get you going. <laughs> it's all a scam, man. They're probably just selling you, like, regular fish or something. And they're, they'll just call it turtle soup. It is a sea turtle. And damn, that's fucked up either way. Because they're endangered and shit. And then... We're killing them for fucking food. Brenda, do they eat the whole thing? Like the whole turtle or just like the fins or something? Hey, I thought about being a forest ranger. Huh? I'm going to report your ass. <laughs> yeah, man. Nah, but I don't, I don't do anything dumb. And if I do, I don't tell nobody. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the thing with these big ass snails. They knock down your, my corals and shit all the time. That way it's facing us. You see that? It's starting to inflate like a balloon now. If you look at that green one. I just want that red one to inflate because I'm a little bit worried. I had it out of the water and like I said, I was scraping the skeleton. See, this one's clean and this one's not. That's because I was scraping the crap out of that red one. Off camera before I started recording. It's a sea, it's called a gaguama. They are huge sea turtles. Hey, I've thought about being a forest. I've never ate the sea turtle. Oh shit, alright, Brenda. No, I don't care. I'm missing I'm messing around. <laughs> I went on a cruise and I had a whole lot of dolphin following us. Yeah, dolphins are cool. Like I said, they're pretty smart, man. They're like us, just like, they're just only in water. Great white pet, <laughs> laughing my ass off. <laughs> that would that'd be a pretty cool ass shark to have, honestly, a great white. But you're better off getting like a, a lemon shark or a, I don't know about tiger sharks. I think I've seen them in captivity, but I don't know. I like an orca. Honestly, if, if I had a, a, a killer whale, I wanted to live on an actual beach and shit. Um, there's this place, I think it was in, in Brazil, where the dolphins work with the, with the locals there, fi getting fish and shit. I love dolphins, but orcas are the shit. Yeah, um... I don't know why, but a lot, I like black and white fish, and killer whales are my favorite. They're my favorite whales for sure. I like the blue whales because they're big as fuck. And then sperm whales, they're pretty cool just because they're the most common whale that people recognize. But my favorite, like I said, is the, the black and white killer whales or orcas. They're my favorite. I mean, 
from these two clowns, I think I like the black one more. And then from one that I like more than the black one is probably the true percula. It looks like this orange one, but the black line, this front front one, it's more uh it's more thicker. And if I didn't have these clowns, I'll get the Bengai Cardinals, which is like a silver and black fish. Like a silvery white black fish. No, I'd keep one. They they say they go crazy if they if they hold captive and turn on you or suicide. Yeah, 1916. Um, that's what I'm telling you. I, I would have it like in the beach. Like if I had one, I'll, I'll be swimming around Santa Cruz. If you live in, in LA, like just swimming around in LA. But definitely, I wouldn't have them captive bred or or in captivity, man. Cause that's pretty fucked up. It's kind of like having chimps and shit at the zoo. It's like jail and prison, man. They know, man. They're smart, man. They're not dumb. But killer whales are the shit, though. Only I, I, I don't know if I'll be scared if I see one. I don't think I'll be in there in the fucking water just swimming it and shit like that. But, but uh, like I said, I love the killer whales, though. I'd feel more comfortable if it was like a blue whale or something that doesn't have big ass teeth. I'm gonna watch the orca doc after this now. <laughs> Yeah, or like I said, orcas are pretty badass. And I believe the word, the name orca comes from like a Greek god or some shit like that. Or some shit like that. You guys could fucking figure that out, but... Fuck, a chimp or gorilla, those are scary motherfuckers. Rip your arms off. Yeah, dude, I seen that shit, dude. They're fucking buff as fuck. I saw one at the San Francisco Zoo. It was my first time seeing the gorillas and shit like that, and the chimps. And man, they look depressed more more than anything, bro. That's fucked up. They should, like I said, they should have them in the wild, not in captivity. That's pretty. It's like it's like it's like prison, man. Like if if you went to jail or prison or something, I'm pretty sure people don't like being there, and that's what they're doing with these animals. And there's no way for them to get out. And it, and if they escape, they get shot dead, man. Either way, it's all fucked up. But I don't know. For some reason, people, like people in the old world, they like to put shit in cages, including people. But guys, man, I really hope you guys like these new corals that I got. Like I said, they're pretty awesome. But you see, there's algae everywhere. Tomorrow, I'm going to scrape the algae everywhere. Fuck it. And like I said, these Bauer Bankies, you don't really don't see them that much. Like, if you if you type in YouTube uh, Bauer Banky, you're not going to find many of these. Especially the green and the red one. Those is one that I that I thought was pretty cool. I saw an orange one. Um, in YouTube, I would probably like one of those, but you don't see the red or, or a green that much on YouTube or anything. I have seen a hairless chimp. They're jacked, and the shape that's the shape I want to be in. <laughs> yeah, dude, fucking. If I'm correct, they're on average like four to five times stronger than us. They'll definitely um, mess us up for sure, big time. But man, I think this tank's coming out pretty cool. And like I said, uh, I usually don't keep any corals in the in the sand bed, but. These four are the only ones I'm gonna have in the sand bed. I mean, it's, they're elevated, but but still, I have to move shit around just to clean the sand. I don't like doing that.
But yeah, guys. Um, like I said I might, I might, and I might keep this one short, guys. But I really appreciate you guys joining. Like I said, tomorrow uh, I'm gonna try to do live and everything and show you how these guys look once they're actually out and about. The green one looks look, look, looks like it's doing pretty good. The red one, I'm a little bit worried, but I could tell it's gonna do good though. All good. Peace. Aussie Bauer Banky looks crazy. Yeah, man. Check them out. Check out the the Bauer Bankies. And like I said, um, uh, tomorrow I'll, I'll go live. Like I said, I was just going to put them in and show you guys how they look like or how I put them in. And then give you an update tomorrow. But... But yeah, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you guys go. But thank you, Brenda and 1916 for joining. It really means a lot, man. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and then we'll see what happens either tomorrow or the next day. But like I said, um, these coral, look them up. You won't find a green or a red one. I don't know why, but I try looking everywhere on YouTube and I can't find them. So I said I'll get that shit. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, Brenda, um, it was nice, nice seeing you guys, and good night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.